Hey guys, it's Robert from RV Weekends, and we're about to head to an RV show. Let's do it. Alright guys, thanks for coming back for my part two of my trip to the Daytona International Speedway RV show. So last time we did a few tours, and now let's pick up where we left off and continue the tours. There you have it. I just did a tour of uh, the different Grand Design models, the Transcend, the Imagine, the Reflection, and the Momentum, four different uh, models. but. There's all kinds of different layouts in each model, you know. So you got probably six or eight different layouts on the transcend, six or more for the reflection, six or more for the imagine, and six or more for the momentum. And they even have smaller momentums that are got all the bells and whistles, but they're smaller and they bumper hitch, you know, like a regular travel trailer versus a fifth wheel. So you don't have to have a big vehicle to pull it. So I hope you enjoyed that. Here again at the Daytona International Speedway. I can hear cars going by race cars. Yeah, an airplane. There's an international airport right here. All right, so I'm gonna walk around. Oh, Solitude. Momentum, I forgot one. Solitude is another model. How could I forget? There's so many. Let me turn the camera around. Look, there's a Solitude. That's a Grand Design Solitude, fifth wheel. Hmm, wonder what, oh, this is the, probably doesn't have a toy hauler. That's what it's about. This one does not have a toy hauler. So the Solitude doesn't have the tailgate. It's a ST37378MBS. ST378MBS. Look at these heavy duty steps. Oh yeah. This is more luxurious. All right. Look at this kitchen. Oh my goodness. Wow. Look, you got a, a dinette with the bench, dinette, dinette seats right here. Oh, let me change the uh, angle, wide angle with LED lights and recliner. Look at this, very nice. And this is on a slider. See here? Look at that. That's what I'm talking about. I don't like the carpet. I like that better. Look, it blends right in. And then you have more. Uh, this is a sofa, not not a recliner, a sofa. And uh, this this whole dinette and recliner slides out. And same thing here. You got the island, but on the other side of the island, you have your cooking, your kitchen area, that all slides out. So uh, you got a sofa at the back. Look at all the cabinetry and the storage. And look at these cool lamps, very cool lamps. And here in front of your recliner is the TV, and this TV goes down. It goes down in this cavity, hides away. So you can use that for cabinet space or countertop. And look at these speakers. Cool. Cool speakers. Look at this. For a bur four burner and a pantry, that's what I'm talking about. This is more like mine. Big pantry for mine. Huge, huge refrigerator. Look at all that counter space. All right, let's go hit the bed. Oh, look at this cool little room. It's a little playroom for kids to hang out. Put a TV right here so the kids can watch TV. And there's a bunk bed up there. Very cool. This is the Solitude bunk bed up here. And a little handrail to go up to the upstairs to the front of the fifth wheel. And here's the big bathroom. Oh yeah, like that, huh? Love that shower. I love the shower and the bench seat. Oh yeah. Nice hooks here. Fan, nice sink. Look how big the sink is. I love that. I need to get a new faucet actually. Here's the big bedroom. Look how ginormous this bedroom is. Oh my goodness, it's big. Look at this closet. Woo, woo, wow. Look at all the storage for your shoes. You can hang your clothes here. Very cool, more, more storage, washer and dryer here. 
big screen TV here in front of the bed. Very nice. So there you got your solitude. Kind of went through it somewhat fast because uh, they're starting. People are starting to show up here at the RV Super Show. And love this little room. That's so cool. And that little bed. Look at the lighting over the island. Man, it's got to be tough driving down the road, though. You know what I mean? Driving down the road with that shaking. That's got to. That's got to uh, take a toll on that. But anyway, it's a beautiful rig. I definitely want to look into that stove, four burner stove. Wonder how much that costs. Yeah, insignia, insignia, insignia. Yeah, I gotta look that up. All right, let's walk around the outside of the back. Outdoor speakers. And the ladder on the back because it's not a toy hauler. And here we are at the Daytona International Speedway. You hear the race cars going around and look at the big slide room here. Ah, uh, here's your short power goes in right there. And storage doors here. Water heater and furnace going on here. And that's where the bedroom is in the front, the slide room, right there. All right, there you have it, Solitude. Nice, luxurious rig. Got some kind of special hitch here, the more ride. Very nice, very cool. There you can have lights right here, the little lights here. There's the whole rig. And here's the row of Grand Design. Tow behinds. Grand Design. Fifth wheels. All right, open road, Allegro. We got a motorhome here. Look how pretty it is. All right, look how pretty this is. You get to drive around with your bed in the back. Isn't that nice? You don't have to pull off. Someone can take turns driving. And one could go sleep. And look at that big windshield. You see so much. And look at that. ba -da. Look at the luxurious recliners. This one looks used. But usually, usually they're well taken care of because they're very expensive. This slides out. This is not slid out, but it slides out to create more room. And look at this beautiful kitchen. It's got LED lights around the stove knobs. On sale, discounted on sale. Lots of storage here. Control room there, control center. Look, bathroom. Not too fond of that color, but it goes with everything. They're using the beige or almond cover color throughout. It's a nice, plenty of room here in the bathroom. Look at all the storage. Big motor home. Drive your home around. There is the sink with the double mirror into the bedroom. Let's go this way. Here's your towel holder. And look at this big old refrigerator. Let me, yeah, we're good. Big refrigerator, and here's the bedroom. This is a slider too, so this would not be tight when you're, it's parked. This whole bed slides that way. Look at all this storage. <clears throat> yeah, I don't need a TV in my bedroom. I don't watch TV on my bed. I watch it in the recliner, it's comfortable. And if I want a TV in my bedroom, it better be straight in front of me. I'm not gonna look to the left or the right, but that's me. All right, we got some USB ports and some storage down here. Very cool. 120 outlet right here. And here's some more buttons to control stuff. Can't tell what it is because it's dark. 
But here you go, motorhome. Tiffin. Supposed to be a high quality name brand, Tiffin. It's got a Ford motor chassis. So it's not a super, super expensive one. It's somewhat affordable. Let's walk around the outside. I like this handrail. Little swoosh going on like that. All that storage underneath. Open road, built by Tiffin. I don't know if I've ever want to own one of these. I don't know. Class A motorhome. All right, there you have it. Let's walk around and look at some more stuff. Oh, look at that. So you got a lot here. Pretty rigs. This one's running. I got something for your mind, your body, and your soul. Yeah, this is uh, got the generator running or the engine running. This is a diesel pusher, not like the other one. See, there's a big difference. You can, I don't know if you can see the difference. This one's gasoline engine in the front. This one has generator in the front and a big diesel motor in the back. If you see uh, the huge picture on the on the windshield, it talks about the frame, how big it is. The diesel motor in the back. Yeah, so this is a Mac Daddy motorhome. Slide rooms. And here's the engine, here's the radiator here. So the diesel motor is right here in the back. There's the big tailpipe, so it's not running. You don't, there's no exhaust coming out here. That's the uh, generator up front. And you can pull stuff with it. Super made by Freightliner. See the diesel guy, the guys that make the big truck trailers? That's the difference between those other Class A's with a Ford motor and a Ford frame versus this one with diesel. Very big, very big difference. And this Discovery LXE. The V-Series. Actually, I haven't had the uh, pleasure of, of working on any of these yet. And the sun has come out here in sunny Florida. And the door's open. Why not go in, right? Now, here's the big diesel. Yes, see the difference here? Freightliner. Looks similar up front, but the difference, look at this. This is what you pay a lot for. 300,000 sale price today. See with the sliders out, how luxuriously spacious it is. It's, it's really spacious, you could dance here. Listed at $488,811. Now today, $299,998. They're discounted because the economy has, as far as sales of RVs have slowed since COVID is over. Got a nice fireplace, nice pull-out dinette. See, that's cool, this goes away. Slides in there, it goes away. Nice recliners. Leather, real leather. Actually, that's the sofa. This is the recliners. Yes, here's the recliners with this cool table. Right in front of the TV. I like that. Cup holder. Here's for your meal. All right. Fireplace. Look at that light. Very cool. Air conditioner, air conditioner, air conditioner. Three air conditioners. There's your sink. Double stainless steel. I'm 
and there's your glass top. There is your dishwasher. Is this oven? No oven. Just, just a stove top. No oven. You have a microwave. Big fridge. Let's see. These are connected. Let's see. I would think it would be a 12 volt. But it has a generator, so it's generator run 120 volts. So here is your bedroom. Look at that. Nice finished covers and stuff looks really pretty really pretty that's a slider we walk right past the bathroom oh what is this yes the bathroom so this is your guest's bathroom your guest's bathroom controls here your guest bathroom because here's the big mama back here this is the master bathroom here. Imagine having two bathrooms and an RV, because I don't even have two bathrooms in my RV. Big old shower, it's not that big. Nice, very nice. Love the sinks, they're very nice. And your storage. In the bathroom, washer and dryer. Now you can see the washer and dryer. Dryer and the washer. Pretty good size. Here's your bedroom. With plenty of uh, drawers and storage for your clothes. Love that. Very nice. You can get what you want if you want to pay for it. Very beautiful. Wow. It looks better on camera, believe me, than it does in person. I mean, it looks great in person, but the camera really makes it look cool. It's the lens. I have the fisheye lens, so it gathers in more information. Let me turn it around and I'll show you the regular lens here. Yeah, see, it's the fisheye lens it does a big difference. There you got it. There you have it. A Freightliner. It's a little warm today. It's not quite fall yet. Still uh, remnants of summer. It's uh, second week of October. So it's still warm a little bit, but there is some cooler weather coming because we're heading to fall. But yeah, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Here again, you see your diesel pushers. We call them diesel pushers because the diesel motor's in the back pushing the rig. And you have your gasoline rigs. And you can see the price difference by a lot. See, this is a 2024 model. And look, only 179,998. And this one is 300,000. This one's diesel, built on a big frame, tractor trailer frame. This is gasoline different very different let's take a look at this Ford V8 bounder 7.3 liter that's a big V8 right there yeah baby the bounder let's check out the bounder nobody's in here let's check it out all right uh, here you go at the floor you can set a table up here and rotate these chairs around and have dinner but it is a Ford. See the difference in luxury. You can see the difference. It's not the same. Still awesome. Still awesome. And it's even discounted 179.998 from 268.161. So you have your nice luxurious dinette, leather seats, cup holders very nice so people sitting here while you're traveling the cups won't slide around double stainless steel sink yeah. 
There's your stove top, Dometic. Three burner, I want four. I want four burner. I actually need a bigger stove too. These are too small for me. I cook a lot. Oh, you got a fireplace in front of the recliners. TV in front of the recliners. Big fridge. Storage, look at all that storage. Failed to mention. Cup holder here. Like I said, the captain's chairs, they rotate around to face this way and they can you can have dinner and with these chairs from the front seat. More seating. You can keep a lot of people in here comfortably. Here's your fireplace with your surround sound bar. That's nice. I love the sound bar. I added the sound bar in my rig. Here is the bathroom. This is your guest bathroom. A little tight. That's a little tight. I mean, you want to sit on that? Your knee's going to hit you. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's not cool. Yeah. I'm right up against the wall. That would be annoying. So like I said, there's a difference between the uh, Class A with gas engines in them and the diesel pushers are extremely luxurious. All right, we'll go into the bedroom. Got a slide bed, just like the other ones. You can just tell this is more like a camper than the luxurious motorhomes. Still awesome, but you can tell the difference. And here's some kind of room here. What's in here? Storage. Big storage. Maybe you could put a TV in there. I don't know. No, no TV because the TV's here. What would you put in here? Our clothes? I don't know. And here's the bedroom, the bathroom. You can see the difference, huge difference between this bathroom and this rig and the other rig we were just in. Huge difference. But the bathroom, the shower is a lot nicer in this one. I like this shower better. It's wider. I like it. Big, huge skylight. I love these doors. Very nice. All right, you can see the huge difference. Here's where I think uh, you could put a washer dryer. I don't see the hookup, but you definitely got a room there. And again, what a contrast from that diesel pusher across the aisle and these guys. So you jump about $100,000, $150,000, you jump to go over there if you want to get one. Yeah, so you see 179 here. 179 here. 300,000 there. All right. We're moving to the little bit le less expensive models. They're smaller. Gasoline powered. This one's 119,902. The Ford V8, like the other one. Outside TV, hey, hey. What's in here? So we got a short, short little motorhome. Look, we're right in the middle. There's the bedroom. We're right in the middle. So it's only a few steps to the bedroom and kitchen's right here and a few steps to drive. So it's a lot shorter. I don't like that. Right there, that is just cheap plastic, too cheap. But anyway, cup holders. Here's your dinette with the TV, and here it looks like two low, uh, sofa bed kind of thing. Right in front of the TV. Go back to your kitchen. And there's your moderate fridge. Moderate fridge. Look, everybody's keys are right here. We can go pick out one. This is going to drive off with this rig. Just tell them, hey, they told me to drive it over here. Okay, see ya. Uh, here's your bed, bathroom. Little tiny shower. Itty bitty, itty bitty shower. My shower is bigger than this. Little toilet, not a bad size for toilet, of course, but I mean, little bathroom. All right, there you go. See the difference? Oh, hide a lot. So there's a bed up here. Bed up there. All right, let's roll. All right, that's all for the full-length video tours. 
Now we're going to go to shorter videos that are shot in the vertical format for making shorts on YouTube. So they're going to be less than 60 seconds. Uh, some will be 15 seconds and others will be closer to a minute. So let's check them out.
All right, guys, that's a lot of RVs, right? Well, it was a great time at the RV show, so I thought I'd share as much as I could with you. You can turn it off anytime you want. And uh, do me a favor, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content like this, as well as my trips to London, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. If you want to receive notifications when I upload my newest video and do me a favor, share this video with a friend as it'll help my channel grow. Thank you so much for watching RV Weekends and I got another RV show coming up in a couple of months. So I hope you like this one. There's more to come. All right. Thank you until next time. We'll see ya.